before. Hi, it's Pina from Fashion Justice. Welcome back to my channel. Last week I did a video on how to help you navigate and survive this crazy pandemic. So one of the things that I want to talk about is just um, perspective. And so when this happened, the first week that it happened, I reached out to my girlfriend to see how she was doing. And she said, um, you know, she wasn't, she was really um, having a lot of anxiety. So I tried to calm her down and I said, look, I just, my pers from my perspective, I really feel like this is just an opportunity for the universe to recalibrate itself. And to that, she responded, everyone's gonna die, everybody we know is gonna die, this is just a horrible situation. And it really made me realize, here's two people in the same situation. So why not choose to take this pandemic as an experience that is going to make you better and stronger as opposed to making you bitter? Now, I don't take this viewpoint because I haven't been affected by it because I have. I have friends and family members who have been affected. So I don't say this lightly. It's certainly a trying time. But it's the way that you choose to look at this. It's only going to benefit you if you choose to look at this as uh, something that's very negative. And we know it's not an easy thing. But the way you look at it is what you're going to get out of it. So what do I mean by a recalibration of the universe? I mean, we are moving into a fifth dimension, which means that the universe is vibrating at a much higher frequency. And that's not something that you can actually see, but that is something that you can actually feel. So if we're vibrating at a higher frequency, that means that the energy of the universe is shifting. And so on an individual level, we need to shift with it. And so the one thing that is going to make this easier is if we raise our individual vibration. And by this, I mean that we are, we are vibrating at a higher frequency and we are creating a universe where we are no longer dictated by our ego, but we are dictated by our energy and our soul. And we need to learn how to be directed in our life by something that is bigger and greater than our ego. So we need to, we can only do that through practice obviously but it is uh it's a way for us to evolve as individuals and to move forward as human beings in a world that has now completely changed so how do individuals raise their frequency well we can do this by being very aware and being aware of our thoughts and how our thoughts are affected and tied to our emotions so you can direct your thoughts to make you feel better. And it's as simple as that, but as simple as it sounds, trust me, it's, it's a much more difficult thing to actually put into practice, but this is the perfect time to do that because I'll give you an example. When you wake up in the mornings these days with a schedule that is unlike anything you've probably ever had to deal with in your life, you can wake up in the morning and choose to start with a very anxiety-filled thought and that's only going to perpetuate more and more negative thinking and it's going to perpetuate more fear and anxiety within you. However, if you wake up in the morning and make a conscious decision to have nothing but good thinking thoughts, then you're going to start to perpetuate better and better thoughts throughout the day and your day is actually going to somehow probably turn out a lot better. So our, even though we are stuck at home, can't go anywhere, we are in quarantine, we are not stuck up here. We still have the power to choose and the ability to control our days, even though we can't control ourselves from a physical perspective in terms of where we can go, but we can certainly take control of our minds and our thoughts in order to be able to get through this. And we can do that not only during this crazy time, but 
in our lives, just generally to cope and to get through every single day. And I can attest to the fact that I can tell when my day, my moods are going to be a lot better and I'm going to have a better day when I start off my day right because I make a conscious decision to make sure that I'm going to control my thoughts so that I do end up having a much better day. And this is a daily practice. You just need to be very, very aware of your thoughts in order to ensure that at the end of the day, you're, you're going to start to see the results of which you're going to have a much better day. So I'm going to give you two really quick, easy things that you can do to make sure that you win your day first thing in the morning. So the first simple thing is, and I'm sure you've all heard of this, I have been doing this for years, is have a gratitude journal and just focus in the morning on being grateful. So whether you have a journal or whether you want to do it through your meditation practice, just make sure that when your feet hit the ground every morning, you just are very grateful for the fact that you have another chance to wake up today and to experience another day. Challenges or no challenges, but you're here and you're going to you're going to make a conscious decision to enjoy the day ahead of you. So think every morning of at least five things that you're grateful for. And no matter how challenging your day or no matter what you're going through in your life, everybody can think of at least five things. That is going to go a long way to helping you shift your focus every morning. When you are feeling grateful, it is impossible for you to feel anything other than gratitude. And so any feelings, any negative or bad feelings that are entering your your thought process are going to automatically get kicked out because it is impossible, they say, when you are in a state of gratitude to have anything else overcome that emotion. And so starting off your day this way is is a great way to make sure that you are going to set your day off on the right foot and that you're you're not going to fall into a, a depression and you're not going to be affected by everything that's going on around you. And the second really easy thing you can do is meditate. Now, I have been recommending this to people for years and all I ever hear is I don't have time to meditate and And how do you meditate? I don't know how to meditate. So luckily, you now have the time to meditate. So I would say if you've never done this before, start with two minutes, put the timer on your phone, start with two minutes a day. And then you'll gradually start to see that you're really liking how it makes you feel and the results, which are not going to be Um, happening right away these are results that you're gonna see over time and it's gonna take a while so you just have to have faith but it's just like anything else you do when you go to the gym and you work out your body but this is like taking your brain to the gym you want to exercise that muscle and as you be you're gonna become better and better at meditating and you're gonna start to see results so how do you meditate well You don't need a university degree, you don't need anything, you just need to have the time to sit still and quiet your mind. And the biggest challenge is quieting your mind, but you will get better and better at this as as you do this more frequently. So I find it really hard to believe that people can't sit still for two minutes and as you, the more you do this, the more it will become easier for you to do And trust me, you will start to see the benefits of this long term. So stick with it. Do these two things every day, gratitude and meditating. And I promise you that once you start doing this, you're going to become very addicted to the feeling that it gives you and you're not going to want to stop. So now's the perfect time to do this if you've never done it before because you don't have time. And there's actually no excuse for you, so you should start doing this, and I promise you, you're going to start to see results. You know, people that have a great attitude towards life are not necessarily genetically programmed that way. 
a lot of people work really hard and put in the time, the energy, and the work. It is a daily practice, but if you are committed to your mental health and you're committed to making sure that you want the best life for yourself and you want to be the best version of you every single day, then you need to commit to a lot of these little daily practices that are going to go a long way to making you the best version of you. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it somehow helps you a little bit to cope not only through this pandemic, but that it will help you in the long run as so, well. Uh, make sure that you try and start your day off on the right foot. Also make sure you take care of yourself on the exterior. Make sure your hair, your makeup is done, that you dress nice, don't always be in your pajamas every day. So take care of yourself. It goes a long way uh, to making you get through this and feel so much better. Stay fabulous and stay sane.